Okay, so I've been looking around YouTube and I haven't found anybody who has a video up of the D-Link DIR506L connected to a 3G network with a USB stick. So here's one working at it at the moment. And what I've connected here is a ProLink stick uh, to the D-Link router and it wasn't very difficult put a SIM card in my ProLink USB card and all the software on the D-Link took care of the connection itself even the APN it automatically seems to find it so the only thing you can have difficulty with different networks and depending on your SIM card. So I'm connected in Myanmar using Oradu network. The SIM card is from Oradu. This is a new test. And in a minute I will show you the data rate I'm getting and some of the software used to connect. But this has been a very easy process, easier than I thought it was. This um, data card that I bought using the software that came with it on my computer I could never get it to connect to anybody's network and then when I plugged into the D-Link its software automatically connects and does a very good job let's just pause this now here's the data rate that I've been getting off this card in Myanmar in my house we'll just run the test again see what we can get So it should run for 10 seconds, and here's the data rates, 178 kilobits for my download speed, and a line speed of 1.42 megabits. Can't complain about that. And now here is the, the browser software that you used to log into the router. And what I want to show you here is if we just log in. There we get the status. If I started up the router at the moment, you can see in the status the connection for 3G there. Uh, you've got the signal strength. You can disconnect by pressing that. It's been up for one hour. This one automatically connects when I turn on the modem because I'm on a data plan which is metered on megabytes. So you can turn it off to save yourself some money. It's not a time-based system and not unlimited. Okay, so if you go into status, you get to see if it's connected or not. But one of the things is in the setup. If you have problems connecting a USB stick, you need to go to manual internet connection options in the setup tab. And then here, on 3G, 4G internet connection type instead of auto which is working for this so you try that naturally but if you're having issues go and change that to manual and you'll see that the APN can be set in here now I have another card that runs off MPT which is another service provider here in Myanmar and um, it doesn't automatically connect with that one so I'm going to change that card over and fiddle with these settings and hopefully get this running on the MPT setting I know that all it needs is an, is an APN of MPT net in that one setting and it will probably work from then on so this uh, connection software is built into the router all you have to do is change the settings in here and um, this has been a pretty much a plug and play operation instead of a plug and pray. And like I said earlier, my USB stick, I could never get it to work with my MacBook Pro using the software that it had to connect to any network. And um, using this D-Link setup, I've been able to get it to work.
on its own. Pretty good. You're always happy when things that don't work start to work again.